What nanotronics uh, does, we work with a lab that regenerates the esophagus. This is kind of interesting because this was by chance, but I had esophageal cancer. Uh, I was lucky enough and had good enough uh, oncologists and scientists working on my case that I recovered from it. But it's an incredibly deadly form of cancer. Uh, with regenerative medicine, uh, you're able to actually take out part of the esophagus and replace it with a bioscaffold and seed that with stem cells so that it can regrow a new scaffold. This has been known for a long time, has even been tried, but without the ability to know the exact pore size and the density of how those cells will react to each other, so in other words, to have nanoscale resolution, it's only an idea, it's only a theoretical idea. Now this is something that's a reality. This should be also applicable to any regenerative processes like this. Full complicated organs are already being recreated. What makes it into the mainstream is a matter of regulation, it's a matter of politics, it's a matter of things that are outside of science. But we do hope that enabling it in many labs for a point that everybody can try it out will help this adoption happen quicker. So five years is absolutely a technological reality. We'll see if it's a political reality. There are, of course, political hurdles in doing anything in medicine, but there, that is also kind of an excuse for us when we don't accomplish things as fast as we would like to. Um, they are real, but I think the biggest hurdle in nanotechnology and re regenerative medicine specifically is that the public doesn't know about it. So it's not on the radar of most people, so they're not excited about it. They don't push for it. They don't spend money on it. They don't lobby for it. They don't realize that their lives and their parents' lives and their children's lives could be saved by it. Uh, it's always amazing to me the types of technology that get attention while others that are truly world-changing don't get any attention at all. Regenerative medicine is a good example of that.